This conference will now be recorded. All right, welcome everyone to today's Q&A. Um, some of the questions that we received, I will actually have to show you. So I will be sharing my screen. They are mostly ex office related. So let me go ahead and share my screen with all of you. Okay, give me just one second. <clears throat> all right, so um, give me a thumbs up if you can see my screen. Okay, so the first question that we have today is, how can we send someone straight to the RF shopping cart so that it's linked to our account? There are the replicated websites for some of the brands and they can get to the shopping area eventually, but there doesn't seem to be a clear cut way to send them to straight to the cart. So if you don't wanna use a smart link, um, the other option is another link provided in your X office that shows up once you have done the following. So what I recommend first is going to my business and then going to the email setting, okay? In the settings, you will just need to fill out your name, your phone number and your email address and then click agree to save. Once that is set up, you can go back to my business and go to set placement. <clears throat> and when you have the set placement, um, you have two links right here, okay? So this first link at the top is the link that you will send representatives to enroll themselves. And then this bottom link will be the link that you will send to preferred customers and it'll take them straight to the shopping cart, okay? So this is all for them to do it on their own without having that smart link created for that particular um, item, okay? The next question is, if there is a way they can take a smart link and then continue shopping. So far, I can only see where it goes, well, where it gets them, whatever products were put in the smart link, but they cannot go to the website to order other stuff. So when you send a smart link and someone clicks on the smart link that you sent them, um, this one's already set up as a smart link. Oh, sorry, not that one. Okay, so this one's already someone's smart link. So when I click on the smart link, all I will see is this, right? and then I will hit next. If I want to shop for other products, all I have to do is search in the box and I can type in Benali or whatever I'm searching for or <clears throat> um, click on the shopping cart and then hit enter. And what it does is it takes you to the actual shopping cart and you'll be able to see the country that the link, sorry, the country that the smart link was sent for but then it should redirect you to the product that we searched for. Um, let me go ahead and... Yeah, and Omar, on that note, guys, just, just so that you're aware, like this fall, we expect to have a brand new shopping experience that will be much more open-based, much more Amazon-like and feel, that you can just send a link for them to go shopping. But one of the benefits you're gonna find with the smart links is because you've chosen the product for them it really just lines up well with the conversation you've been having because most people don't know what to order even if you let them see the entire cart right it's kind of more of what have you set them up what goodies have you shared what you know testimonials or before and afters or transformation stories have kind of like you you hook them up with to where they're really lined up and they don't have to think it just goes to a checkout screen. That's kind of the idea for the smart link. But if they are kind of a self browser, um, Omar, that's pretty cool. Those uh, workarounds, I was even I wasn't even unaware of them. So yeah, nice so job. that's a workaround. Um, the the one with the direct link for them to shop on their own, I actually stumbled upon it on accident. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, okay, so that's like Ian said, the smart link just gives your customer that experience that you've been talking about the whole time um, and whatnot. Okay, so I'll still keep sharing my screen because there's another one that I'll need it for. But the next question is, what should I do with my spouse's account? Um, so with Rx, you are not allowed to have two accounts for the same household. Or if you have a spouse, right, a husband, a wife cannot hold an account separately. However, when we did merge with Limu, we did honor that. 
So that being said, except just like Ian mentioned a while ago in the Q&A, we also honored all the lines um, that you came over with. We didn't remove anything. Same with the spouse's accounts. You guys can still keep your spousal accounts. We are honoring that. But if you do not want to keep the account, we can do an exception and merge the accounts. Um, the reason why we consider this an exception is because with Rx, when we when we merge the accounts, we don't have a way to fully integrate the two accounts into one. So we have to create a new income position and put it in the node. Uh, with Rx, our policy states that an income position cannot be within 10 levels of the original income position. When we merge with Limu, some of the spousal accounts do fall between that 10 limit level. And so that's why we consider an exception. So if you would like to merge your wife's account or your husband's account with yours, we can do that exception and do it for you. Um, you just have to give us a call. And then we will require that you send an email for reference as well. So during the call, we'll tell you what's going to happen, which pretty much will create the second income position and it'll take the note of your spouse's account and then your spouse's account will be terminated when that happens. All they're personally sponsored should dynamically compress to you as the sponsor. And then um, we'll make sure that all their lines match up with your income position two lines. And so then we'll just request that you send the email just for future reference. If you don't want to, if you don't want to merge the accounts, you don't have to, you'll still be able to keep both accounts. Okay. And then the next one is what countries do we ship to? So I don't know all the countries off the top of my head. So I will share X office. When you go into the shopping cart and you do an enrollment, you have to take me to RX USA and then you have to choose another market. So the list of all the countries that we can ship to will be in here, okay? Um, you have China, China OTG, there's just the difference in uh, the warehouses that we use. What we call OTG is that the product is in the country and it has been rich, registered with the government. Um, if you see NFR, then it means that the product is not for resale and hasn't been registered yet. So you'll see we have Japan OTG, Japan NFR, the United Kingdom. So anything that falls in the United Kingdom would be England, Ireland. Um, then we have Armenia, Australia, um, Belarus, <coughs> excuse me. The European Union is where you're gonna find most of your European countries that we are in legally, but also can ship to. Um, and so the list just goes on. So we have Austria, Belgium, Croatia. So this is where you can find all the countries that we ship to. And I'm just gonna point one out um, for an example, and it's South Africa. South Africa is a country that we can ship to, and it's what we call a supported market. Okay, so you will see some markets are supported markets. That means that we can ship the product NFR. You can have people enroll in the country, but we cannot pay them in their currency and they cannot buy the product in their currency. So the way that we have figured it out is we find the closest warehouse that would make it easy for us to get products in to the country for the rep to consume the product and, and do the, the business as NFR. So South Africa, for example, follows the European module. So they use a European price list and then they get certain payout options. So they will not have all the same options to receive their commissions. Um, for example, they don't have direct deposit. The reason being we cannot pay them out in their currency or else we'd have to establish a legal entity in there and start registering all the products in there as well. So when you click on a country like South Africa and you do see limited product, it's because they are considered a supported market. Some of these are fully open markets. Some of them will be supported markets. So I'll stop sharing my screen. Uh, the next question is, can I apply loyalty shopping prices to my auto delivery? So you can always add loyalty product to your auto delivery as long as you have your 100 points in a qualifying product. Loyalty product cannot be used to keep your account active or it cannot be used towards qualification. It's a rewards program. Yes, you can have loyalty products on your auto ship, but just make sure that you do have the 100 points to keep you active. And then on the loyalty product will be on top of that. 
okay? And those are all the questions that I have for today, but I do kind of want to bring the three for free program up. Um, I have been working on those. So some of you did get, just, we were able to apply the three for free on some orders, and then it worked perfectly fine when the auto ship process, it only charged uh, representatives for the difference. I have been working on all the refunds for this uh, upcoming Saturday's three for free. So if you, did, if you did get charged for Saturday's auto delivery and you're part of the three for free, I will be taking care of that refund today. Um, and I'll be making sure that the volume is adjusted correctly so you guys don't see any negative volume. And then we'll continue to work on calling all of you for the week 25 and week 26, which is the following weeks for the three for free. And then just getting those cards verified and ready to go, okay? Um, if you guys have any questions, we can answer them. Just put them in the comment box and we'll start reading them from there. Okay, if you had a customer in Limu, would you? Okay, so if you had a customer in Limu who changed over to a promoter, was the customer account closed? Um, this one has a two-part answer. It depends, really. Like uh, it, it's a yes or no, right? Um, the reason why I say it depends is because we have our in-house system in which we can actually switch over a customer account to a representative account, okay? So if your customer decided to be a promoter or representative with Rx um, and called in and said, hey, I want to be a representative, he was probably given two options. Do you wanna keep the same ID or do you wanna start with the brand new ID? If they started with the new ID, then the customer account was closed. If they decided to keep their current ID, what we did is just a conversion and we switched his account from a from a sorry from a customer account to a representative account and then um, we just told them you have you have to place the 100 points to stay qualified and pay the 24.95 to convert over so it's going to depend on what the customer decided to do but if you have any customers that are going to become promoters or representatives those are the two options that they have they can keep the, the current ID or create a new account. Um, how do you find the smart links to set it up? Okay, so let me share my screen for that. Again, give me just one second. So when you log into your X office, you'll, you'll fall into the home page, right? And you'll see on the right hand side. So you'll see these eight quick links up here. Um, and hey, Omar, Omar, I don't see the screen yet, sir. Oh, there we go. I'm fine. All right. All right. So what you see is you'll see these eight quick links on the on the right hand side, and one of them is labeled Smart Link. So you'll click on that Smart Link, um, and this is also in the X Office training video that I did. And so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on Create a New Smart Link. Depending on whether you want it for a preferred customer or a new representative, this is what you'll choose the type. So I'll do it for a preferred customer. And then you can do the link name. Um, let's just say I'm selling the, the slender eye, so I'll put weight loss. And then I'll choose the country that it'll apply to. So I'll just do the US and I'll hit next. And then from there, it'll give me the packs that I want to choose from or the product. But because I'm doing it on weight loss, on weight loss I'm only going to use the slender eyes. So I'm going to add one set of drops and then just click review content. And I'll go ahead and review the content. I'm okay with this. And I'll just click next. So then it'll take me to the recipient type. Is this going to be for someone personal that I've talked to just one on one? Or am I going to make it a public link and post it on my social media? Um, I'm just going to do personal link. And then I can fill out the information so that when they receive it, um, all they, they see the information, all their information already. You don't have to fill it out if you don't want to. Um, but if you do have the information, it just makes it super easier for them and gives them a unique experience. And then you just click generate link. Once that's done, you have the link already. And then you can just share it via Facebook, Twitter, um, Instagram, send it through an email, text message. And when you go to your ex office and you click on the smart link again, um, you'll be able to manage it from there as well. So let me just wait for this to load. So when I click on that smart link, <clears throat> When I click on that smart link icon, I can click on manage smart links. And so then I'll see all the ones that I have created 
and you see these three those are me using training so there's the weight loss and then i can either i can either deactivate it which means that once they click on the link it won't be an active link but it's still in my system or i can delete it and it'll completely be wiped out if i edit the link then i will change the product that's on here for whomever has to have access okay um let's see Okay, um, how do we send in questions? If you want the questions to be answered on the Q&A, you can send them to Rick. If you have personal questions that you rather me answer one-on-one, -on -one, um, yes, you can send them to that email, ad my email address, which is the omar.moreno at rx.com. Um, what about next week? Can we get it done before taking out? Uh, Mike, are you referring to the three for free? Uh, you guys, if that's the case, then yes, you should see a credit of e-wallet balance on your account. And when you go in, um, you'll just go in through the whole updating of your auto delivery and then using e-wallet to pay for your balance. It will ask you for a secondary payment, which is your credit card. And uh, but why it's doing that is because it wants to have the second balance for, sorry, it wants to have a credit card to charge the remaining balance. So do that before. Correct. Yeah. So right now, if you go into your account, you should see the 150. If you're not seeing it, send me an email and then I'll make sure it reflects. But do it before uh, Saturday at midnight. So you, you're going to want to do it by the end of Friday. Um, let's see. Okay, Shauna, is there a reason they are not able to access their RX share app after they set up their new RX office? Yes, I've got about five people. They went and set up their um, RX office, and actually three of them I was on with customer service last Friday, but they mm -hmm. can't get their app. It says that it's invalid. So they're all set up, but they went to go do their RX share app. They can't get in. Okay. Can you Can you send me those IDs? To me sure um, you know, so that I can do some testing uh, and just to see where they're having that issue because everyone that has once their X office is set up they should be able to access their RX app where would you like me to send that Omar uh, you can send it to Omar dot Moreno at rx.com okay thank you hey Omar this this is also what they're talking about is the RX share app not the RX connect app the RX share that used to be Limu share yeah, right. so that's kind of what I want to see is um, if, if it's not linking the new ID to the Limu stuff or, or what's going on. So I want to run some tests on it and see where the disconnect is. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Um, there's one that says, how do you get e-wallet? So your e-wallet is just an electronic version of your payments right for you to use everybody that's a representative or a promoter has access to their e-wallet um, all you need to do is log into your x office and activate it so when you log into x office um let me see i'll share my screen and just kind of show you where that's at give me one sec Okay, let me just go ahead and share. Okay, so um, when you're setting up, like I said, the e-wallet is, is accessible for everyone as soon as they set up their account as a representative. What you're gonna want to do is you're gonna wanna go into either this icon, Rx Pay, or under account settings, you'll see Rx Pay. Um, either one, doesn't matter. Just click on that and then that'll take you to the methods of payouts and what you'll see is the available options for your market to receive commissions in. Um, and so, oops, sorry, I don't know if I showed, but I'll just say it again. So the RX pay is up here under the account and then you'll see this one up here says e-wallet manage. Um, once you are with rx all you have to do is click manage or edit your e-wallet and then it'll ask you a couple of questions to set up it'll ask you to set up one of them is to set up a pin 
Uh, and the reason being is because with Rx, you can actually transfer some of your commissions to another representative. So in order for us to verify that it is you who wants to transfer that money, we, all, we will ask you for a PIN. Uh, partner support will never be able to see what the PIN is and they will never be able to confirm the PIN. So if you do forget your PIN and you call us, we'll, most, we'll have to reset it because we don't have access to that PIN for your security. So again, once you have it set up, you go to your e-wallet and just click manage, and then you set up your distribution to 100%, 50%, um, whatever you want to deposit in here from your earnings, okay? So once you earn a commission with Rx, depending on what you have set up here for your Rx pay, is how you're gonna get paid. If you have your e-wallet set up to 100%, then all your money will go to e-wallet. Within e-wallet, you can use that to transfer it to another rep. You can use it to buy product, or you can use it uh, if you decide to get it back to your direct deposit account, you can do what we call a cash out. At the time, the cash outs work with a commission run. So if you decide to do a cash out to your bank account, it will wait until the next commission cycle and then process with commissions and deposit it to your uh, direct deposit account, okay? And then- Hey, Omar, if I can say something real quick. Yep. Guys, I want you to realize like, you're probably looking at all these options, asking the question, why in the world do we have so many options? Like, why don't we just have one pay card or just pay to the bank? And the answer is, it's your money. And we want you to be able to do exactly what you want, as well as your team members. So you can keep it in there so it's convenient for purchasing, right? You can, uh, which is actually pretty cool. You can keep it to one bank account. You can go to two bank accounts, right? For people who have, you know, kids who are going to college, sometimes they'll put a portion of their commissions to their kid's bank account. And so just we wanted to give you guys total flexibility, which is what you have. Yes, you can have your own pay card. Yes, you can put money into investing. Yes, you can put money into a bank. Like it's just it's amazing what Jeff has built over the last uh, nine years. I mean, there's so many options. For, for most people, they'll just want it to go to their bank or keep some to their e-wallet, but it's nice knowing you've got all those options. Yep, exactly. Just a, a shameless point about why it looks like there's so many options. It really is for your own convenience, so. Thanks for that, Ian. Um, and then Donna, while I'm sharing my screen, I'll answer your question, where do we find our Rx account, uh, you should have received a welcome email with your Rx ID. Uh, if you don't have it, then you can call us. If it's shared, like on my computer, a lot of my passwords are shared and I don't know my username or uh, password. Um, it's also up here at the right top hand side, you'll see your ID number. Um, if you don't have it, then you can give us a call and just give us your email address or your first and last name and we can get it for you. Okay, let's see. Um, and then what are the rules about retail sales? What is example of retail sales over signing? Oh, okay. well, sir, I'll share some slides. Okay, let me stop sharing. Perfect, thanks. Let me make you- I get excited about that because you can actually do them. So let me pull this up. Wait for, wait for. Okay, you should be able to do it now, Ian. Awesome, thanks. Okay, can you see my screen? Yep. Perfect. Okay, so in the Rx Connect app, right you have access to all of those different before and after photos the transformation stories that you can share but you can also manage your smart links um, and all of that and so you saw omar create a smart link and what you'll do with this smart link is you'll just you can send a qr code you can save that little funny qr code other markets like korea and asia and japan they love scanning qr codes it's oh, it's just it's a thing for them for most other people, you'll just share the uh, the URL, and when they click on that, 
that'll take them directly to the order that you set up for them. And so with a, with a retail customer or preferred customer, the difference between them and a business partner is the customer isn't rolling up, excuse me, is not enrolling into anything. They're not, you know, becoming a member. They're not paying an enrollment fee. They're not buying the boss. They're just buying product. And so you get to decide how much of a discount your customer gets. If you share your promotion code, they'll get 15% off. If you teach them to do a subscribe and save, right, to set up an auto delivery, they can get another 15% off. And it's totally up to you kind of how you manage that with your customers. But just remember, Ruth, every time that they buy above your member wholesale price, the company pays that retail difference to you directly. It goes right back into that e-wallet or to your bank account or to two bank accounts, all of those options you just saw on having your money. So we never collect that. That always goes to you guys, um, which is really cool. It means that you can help people save, and when they save money, you earn money. So if I had a customer in Australia, I set up that skincerity. Um, they save 21 bucks. I'm going to earn $21, and there's a huge difference. Um, that retail earnings, the company has no commission requirements for you to earn it. So if you just enrolled today with a boss and you started sharing your promo code and people started buying, we would actually just start putting that money into your account until you've sold at least 200 points of product. So you can earn with no per personal purchases, right? And you can just start sharing and selling and influencing because that's kind of where the future of the whole industry is going. You find these 20 year old kids, 25 year old kids, they're not looking to go make a million dollars a year. They just want a job like Uber where they can work when they want to work, they can be an influencer, go on social media, tell people to buy this, not that. And when people buy, make some money. And if you look at influencer marketing, it's all driven by that kind of affiliate model. Well, Rx is affiliate is like the affiliate model on steroids because your customer can get so in love with the product and their transformation that they can choose to become a business partner as well. And when they decide to go and buy a pack, that's when you earn team lead bonus. You stop earning a re, um, retail earnings, but they can now share their promo code. They can start to earn that $21 retail earning and you'll graduate and earn that team lead bonus. So really, I love our retail program by having multiple tiers. You can completely control in your team kind of that culture. Do you always share a promo code? Do you sometimes share a promo code? Do you say, if you'll buy today, I've only got two promo codes left and I'll give you one of them. I'm not advocating dishonesty, but you can be really flexible, really creative in how you choose to reward people with a promotion code or not reward them, right? And that gives total flexibility because I'll give you an example. In Australia, our leaders there love to give their neighbors, their friends, their relatives, the full 30% off every time. So with, with this, they give them the promo code, teach them to set up an auto ship order, right? And kind of really help them with that so they're buying at the same price that the sponsor's buying with the member wholesale price. And in Europe, they never give their promo codes away and they never talk about auto delivery. Most of the customers just pay the full price and it's working and it's working really well so that a new person can just buy the boss, start to make some retail income, you know, and then build their business that way. And so what I love is it's totally flexible. You and your team and your leaders can get together and say, this is how we want to develop customers. This is how we want to build it. If you were asking me my opinion, I like the share a promo code when they say 15%, I earn 15%. And it's a great way to get your new people, get their toes wet into starting to talk about you know, sharing, because it's, it's a big comfort zone issue for a lot of people, especially to ask for money. So for them to be able to just share a promo code, say, click on, you know, put it, put out, throw that out there, throw it in, in Facebook or a direct message or whatever, and say, hey, click on this promo code. I'm starting this amazing Foucaultian rich energy drink, like for everybody who works, you know, late hours, try this instead of your Red Bull. And if people buy or ask questions, it's 
it's so much easier to just then be service minded to send a smart link and say, hey, click on this. I'll save you 15% because I've got connections with the company. And it really feels like this reciprocity. You help them save money. They're happy to buy. They win, you win. That's kind of the whole retail where when you're finding a business partner and you're enrolling them into the business, it's a different mindset. At that point, they're now in the driver's seat and they you're going to challenge them to be the person who goes out and shares their promo code as opposed to just buying the product. So hopefully that answered your question, Ruth. But uh, again, I'm super excited about our retail program. It actually works. And you're going to see some of the things that Fred was talking about will be directly connected to getting customers and making it easier. So good questions. Omar, back to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, and then so I've been looking through the questions and we have one more from Julie. Um, can they use the promo code for 15% off on the original pack order? Also, when initially signing up with a pack to become a rep. So the tier pricing is available for some of the individual products. Uh, most of the packs, if you are becoming a rep, if you're buying the ultimate pack, um, you will see that it's already discounted. So that 15% discount won't be applied to that particular pack. Correct. Yeah, those promo codes are really only for preferred customers. Um, and wholesale is the lowest price we offer. We don't offer discounts beyond that unless it's loyalty shopping. So um, when you're enrolling as a member, that really is the bottom dollar lowest price. There are no more discounts to be had. And that discount is automatically applied, just like Omar said. So becoming a member, you can't get it for a lower price. Yep, that's the bottom dollar. Okay, I think those, those are all the questions that we have for today, Ian. Uh, oh, Ruth, I understand your question now. She says, anything about retail sales? So Ruth, yes. If you've never heard about auto balancing, right? I want to just give everybody a little hint, and maybe we can save this for the Thursday training. Um, <laughs> retail sales is absolutely doable. Right. If you think about a retailer, all they're concerned about is how many units do I have to move and how much is going to be my take home for selling this. And the beautiful part is you don't have to teach them the comp plan or building teams or any of that. You just say, oh, for every new customer you have, um, you can choose to fulfill the product, meaning they buy a bunch of product, they keep it at their store and then they just sell it and they can sell at any price they want above the retail, or they can do customers the way that we do customers. So sometimes you'll get people who will buy, let's say they just, let's say they want to focus on Limu, right? On the Blue Frog, uh, just Blue Frog 2, right? So they're focused on Blue 2. That's the product they want to buy. They'll buy maybe 500 points or 600 points of product, keep it at their store, sell it, Right, but here's how they'll do it. They'll send a smart link to the person so that they're not asking for the credit card, they're not taking care of shipment, they're not taking care of any of that. Um, they will place that order, but then they'll give them product from their own stock right up front. So the customer doesn't have to wait to get it, right? Because it's retail, I'm in your shop, I'm there. I say, what is this? It's better than Red Bull, it has Fucoid and it's healthy for you, no crash. Etc. they buy it and then what the order does is it ships right back to the store and replenishes their inventory but you can still send a smart link with your own store address pre-filled in so now all they have to type in is their their email address their phone number their name and pay for it from the smart link you give them at their store right and they paid for it and then they take their product right then and then you replenish your inventory with the new order they just placed. So a lot of retailers will take that approach and it works really, really, really well. Super easy. Awesome. Thank you, Ian. Okay, so uh, we have a couple more questions that I think we can answer quickly. Um, I am new from Limu. Why don't I have a new Saturday website? So RX representatives don't actually have a new, new Saturday replicated site. 
Um, the site that you might be referring to if you stumbled upon it is Binucerity, which is a, the best way to put it, it's almost like a smart link from the Nucerity brand. Um, and so not everyone has access to that site because we are revamping that and making a whole new overhaul on the brand itself and the replicated site. So that's why when we merged with them and so they're still using it but you know maybe you know this maybe you don't we have a new skincare line it's kind of like jove got together and new Cerity got together and they had a baby and this baby is newer better brighter faster stronger smarter uh better deal more broad across the board you're gonna love it um in fact i know lima was creating you guys were gary was working on it, your own skincare and during the merge once they saw what we were coming out with they kind of opted and said no let's let's hold back and wait so the plan is once that kind of blend of the best of new Saturday, the best of jove comes together we have a new new brand that will come with its own shopping experience its own shopping site all of that that you'll be able to have access to correct yep and then the other question is is there a two dollar fee for direct deposit no, there isn't a two dollar free for getting direct, the money direct deposit to your account. Um, I will mention that if you are in one of the supported markets and you opt out for uh, RX Exchange or iPayout, then what happens is you receive your funds in USD in this visa that acts like ProPay, um, or not sorry, not ProPay. It acts similar to PayPal, and so. You know, there's a middleman, so you get the funds in this account, and then from within that account, if you do any transactions, then there is a fee applicable to that. But when the money comes from Rx, and you're in a market where we can do a direct deposit to your account, and it's set up that way, you will not receive a fee to get that deposited. And then, where can we get the recorded Q&A sessions? I believe they're all posted in the Rx Nation uh, Facebook page. So Ruth, if you have access to that, um, you'll see them there. If not, then I'll get the, the link and send it your way. And the other one with the replicated websites, will there be a Lima one? Also, do we have just the generic website or we need the replicated ones that focus on specific brand on the landing page? Um, with everything that we're doing and changing the whole experience of the shopping cart, and the enrollment experience, you guys will see that eventually we will have that replicated site experience where everything is housed just in one site itself. So right now we do have them separated, but in the here in the near future, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna quote any dates because I don't don't know exactly when, but pretty soon we're gonna have one site that'll house all the brands and that'll be your replicated site. So you won't have to send out all the multiple links. For each individual one it'll all be just in one area and i believe the limu one will also be incorporated into that as a house as a brand of of our eggs okay and then um do we have any more questions okay so i'll go ahead and end the recording and then uh, we can all